I made the putt. That's always the goal. We're at putts here in Seattle, Washington, and, and this is a 3D printed putter using resin. And that's not the coolest part because, I mean, honestly, you could make a putter out of wood or glass or any material. The real question is, can you make a 3D printed driver? Can we make a golf club capable of hitting the ball far out of 3D printed material? We've got two different types of resins to try. We're going to build them and then we're going to put it to the test on a driving range. Let's get to it right here on 3D Printing Nerd. 3D printed golf heads, golf club heads. It's an interesting concept. You saw the putter and it worked, but a putter doesn't accelerate nearly as fast as other golf clubs do through the ball. So we know a putter works and well, here, have a look. So this is what it looks like. It was printed on the Phenom Noir in Soraya Tech gray resin. It looks like this. Uh, it, it printed just fine. It's a fully solid model. And I did this because I thought, well, with a putter, you want a little bit of weight behind your golf swing. So it's it's full. It is full, 100% resin. These are little weights that go on the side. There's another one on the floor that Sean will grab at some point. Sometime. Those are the little weights right there. Usually what happens is this is a, a certain material and then these are of different density materials. And I think what you can do is then add or remove weight from your putter head. It's all 100% resin. So it's all gonna weigh as much as resin weighs. And uh, getting these off, surprisingly easy. Oh, and also this is fully cured, fully cured. So I'm not handling non-cured resin. There we go. Look at that. I mean, for the most part, it does require a little bit of cleanup. Look at that right there. That is leftover support nubbins. <laughs> nubbins. There we go. There's the putter head. Just imagine this with support removed. I'm not gonna do it right now just because I'm gonna clip it off. And I can't get to the drawer because now with this, we have to find a source of golf clubs. And I've been to the golf club store the Pro Shop, I think is what it's called, right? The Pro right, Shop. Yes. Pro Shop. And uh, golf clubs themselves are, are just amazing feats of technology and they are priced accordingly. And so $60 to $70 will get me a golf club. And I'm like, no, no, there's a better way to do this. So I bought these. I want to show you something. Zoom in on that price tag right there. It says $2.99. Nice. Yeah, it says $2.99. $2.99. Oh. Uh, the, the iron, let's see, this is a bimetal four iron, uh, $3.99. There we go. Look at that. But rather than paying 50, 60, $70 for a brand new golf club shaft, I can just go to the, the store and, and get a number of them for as much as it would cost for me to buy, buy lunch. Uh, so I've got these. And I've got this one, I've got the putter head, but wait a minute, wait a minute. The putter itself, that's an easy one, right? The, the, the putter is gonna slowly accelerate through the ball. There's really no chance of a lot of damage. And as you saw in the cold open, it works. It works successfully, it's great. What about a driver? A driver is a curious thing. And when, uh, well here, you know, uh, I think it was uh, Mark Rober and Destin at Smarter Every Day. They did that, um, that golf club uh, swinging machine that hit a golf ball a million miles away, right? There is some serious speeds that can be achieved by a driver in order to propel a golf ball, hopefully hundreds of yards away. So we should test that. This is Soraya Tech's Fast Resin, and this was printed on the Pio Poly Noir or the Phenom Noir, whatever you want to call it. And very specifically from Mark at Pio Poly, he said this needs to be 200 grams. And so if you look on this side, there are drain holes. And that's because this is not, this is not solid resin. This has a seven millimeter shell and this was shelled and the holes were added using Chitu Box slicing software for the resin printer that some people love and some people hate. But look at that. There was some weirdness here. I don't know if you, can you see that? This little line right there? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I, I imagine it's some sort of slicing er uh, error. Uh, it's still completed just fine. I'm not too worried about it. Plus, you know, I'm gonna sand the surface just a little bit to make it pretty. So there we go. This is fast resin. And um, fast resin is interesting because it is a bit brittle. It's not an engineering resin. It's not stronger. It's not robust. Uh, it makes incredibly beautiful models, but I have a feeling hitting a golf ball may crack this. So 
enter this. This is the same driver head, seven millimeter shell, hollow, 200 grams, but this is in Soraya Tech's blue resin. What color is that? Blue. Is it blue? It's like a- It's like greenish. Yeah, it looks like, it looks is like it a teal. teal? Is it teal? Yeah. Okay. I just think it's funny that the blue resin isn't like blue. <laughs> but anyway, Soraya Tech blue resin is more of an engineering grade resin and it is supposed to be more resilient and hopefully it can drive a golf ball better, faster, stronger, whatever word you want to use. So I, I, I haven't hit either of these yet. Honestly, this might perform just fine. I don't know the answer to that, but proof will be in the pudding. And that means we're gonna have to test it. So now what we have to do is take these golf club heads back to the house and in the garage, we'll get the supports off, we'll get them sanded down, and then what we're gonna do is cut off these golf club heads, and then we're going to use some JB Weld epoxy, and we're going to epoxy the heads into the holes where the shafts go. We're gonna let it sit for 24 hours, cure up, and then we're gonna take it to a driving range, and we're gonna see what happens. Let's go. Day two. Construction is done in the garage, and I've got my two clubs here. I've also got my friend Tim. Hey, man. What's going on, Joel? Tim is a golf enthusiast, I think is a fair way to put it. Yeah, very fair. With an incredible golf swing, and he has an amazing golf club that he's going to use to demonstrate what a real golf club does to a golf ball. How fast do you swing? Uh, maybe right around 115 miles an hour or so. He's a freak. He's a fast get a lot. That's so fast. How far are you gonna drive a ball with that club? Uh, I would say probably about 260 yards. Jeez, okay. So we haven't hit with these yet. This one, uh, there are two different kinds of resins here, and you being someone who's a golf enthusiast, what are your predictions for how these are gonna perform? Uh, yeah, so I mean, I'm not expecting either of them to hold up uh, super, super <laughs> well initially. Um, I'm thinking that your uh, more of a turquoise, uh, more of your harder resin here is gonna hold up a lot better. Um, I'm thinking that your gray one here uh, is gonna have gray results. Um, I think, really? Yeah, I do, I, or gray results, meaning blue results, bad results. Uh, <laughs> we're not, I'm not expecting much from that one. Okay. Um, but we'll find out with, uh, with, with the cameras rolling and this, you know, oh, high yeah. speed going. That should be a yeah. lot of fun. You ready to do this? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Yeah. Jeez! Interesting club. What would you call it? It's a 12 gauge. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one. Okay, that hit was incredible, Tim. How far did that go? Uh, I would dare to reckon probably 260, 275, so. <laughs> Just the sound it made when you hit yep. it was incredible. Yep. I. I, I oh I, I'd, I'd, I'd put it up awards, to the man. I'd put it up to the club man forged club face okay um, you know uh, metal body graphite shaft a lot of technology going on in these modern drivers a lot of technology here plus your swing has been culminated over four or five years you said right yep, yeah Tim was a baseball guy before by the way uh, yeah, what position uh, a lot of outfield man honestly oh, yeah well with so, an a, lot of, a lot of swinging for the a lot of swinging for the fences. <laughs> So listen, this is incredible because of the technology in here and obviously your experience and you're able to make a drive like, like I've never seen before. This is a little different. This is a, I don't even know. This was $2.99 at my local uh, secondhand store. Right. This is JB Weld. Yeah. And this is what's called Soriatech Fast Resin. Yeah. I've hollowed the driver. 
and I've made a seven millimeter shell all the way right. around. Obviously, seeing your swing there, I have, I have no doubt that this is going to disintegrate into nothingness, but I'm hoping you might be able to slow it down just a little bit, just to see if this will work. In the name of science, I'm willing to slow uh, it down In a the name bit. of science. Yeah. This is why I like Tim. And then obviously, this one will be next. This yep. one should withstand I'm going, a little bit more. All, I'm going all out on, on uh, Mr. Turquoise driver there. Well, I mean, we'll start a little side. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right. It's up to you. You ready? I'm ready. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. So your predictions are that full speed obviously wouldn't be able to handle it. How much can you dial your swing back? Uh, I'm going to probably do initially probably a 30% swing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do, you know, what in golf we might consider to be like a punch shot um, with any other club with a driver. It's really more of... Um, we might use it as a training tool to kind of work on to work on things slow. I see. You know, going in slow motion, so I'm going to start with a 30% swing, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go see from what there. happens. And obviously, safety goggles for Sa science. Safety goggles only for science. Alrighty, Godspeed, Mr. Gray Driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, wait, 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 it, it, it didn't break. Didn't break, little 10% little swing, a little bit of nothing, no, uh, no damage yet. Uh, let's take a closer look here. No deformation on the face, so I think we're good to go. To, no cracks? Uh, no cracks, yeah. Everything's, everything's still firm. Huh. I think we should give her another go. So that's where you hit the ball. It doesn't feel cracked though, right? No, not at all. Okay, but, huh. So what's, what's the plan for this swing? Um, so I'm going to actually kind of do a full swing or kind of actually go through my same rotation. I'm not going to swing as though I'm actually trying to hit a full drive um, or even though I'm really trying to swing a real driver. Um, this is more, again, of, a, of an additional safety measure so that we're not seeing a, uh, you know, driver head <laughs> in, the, uh, in, the, in the, the tow yard on the other side That'll of the That'll be street, fantastic. So. Yeah. All right. Good luck, man. Thanks. Ho -ho. Oh. Wow! There she goes. Huh, so Tim, what happened? It uh, looks like we don't have any more driver head, Joel. Um, it looks like, uh, as we might have thought, a little 60% swing. Uh, center, center about, you know, just as far as the ball went. But look, I but look at this, the, sh where the shaft connects didn't break. Correct. Correct. It did, uh, did hold up. So that's impressive. Our weak, our weak point does turn out to be that kind of hosel area where we end up seeing that, that connection. I think that's where we saw the initial break. At least what I felt anyway, okay. was that we saw a break at this, at this portion of the club and then the rest of the head kind of went down range. Well now, so with the other club, it'll be curious to see if the hosel holds up as well. Correct. That's going to be the biggest thing is if that tensile strength is going to be any better on that uh, higher impact resin. So we have to start with your 10% swing first and then we'll work we'll our way do up, a similar yeah. one. All right. Well, obviously, uh, good luck, Tim. Thank you. Okay, Tim, this is with the blue resin. We call it blue. It's the impact resistant resin. Excellent. And what swing are you doing here? Uh, I'm going to do the same one that we actually snapped off the, uh, the gray one out. I'm going to go with a 60% swing. Um, I want to see that head stay on and I kind of want to actually feel what that, uh, what that driver is doing. So. I wish you the best of luck, man. Thank you. That's, uh, that's JB Weld. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Did you see that? Okay, take a look. Originally at the time we thought it was just the standard shank, but now going back in the edit, we see that the ball is actually still on the T. And we see that the golf club is accelerating and the head hits that black plastic piece off to the side. That means that an impact with the ball did not break the club. It was that black plastic piece to the side. So it just means that more testing needs to be done. So look at that. I have an extra <laughs> blue resin golf club, just in case. Yes, thankfully Joel brought the, uh, brought the extras today. Just in case. Yeah. So now 
Tim, round two. Round Try two. two. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Let's give it a spin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, there's no there's no club head on that. I, th I think your uh, I think your club heads and shafts are not friends anymore. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh let's round up our stuff and let's have a little breakdown. What do you think? Perfect. Let's do it. Well, look at that. We have results and they are kind of unexpected, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would say so. The resin that was uh, the, the fast resin, the driver of the fast resin, just exploded. But this is the hosel, right? Correct, yeah. Where, where it attached to the hosel, it, it didn't right, break no, yeah, right there. It survived. Which was really impressive. And yeah. uh, like you said, it, it feels almost like an obsidian, like, yeah. a, like a glass, right? right? Yeah, exactly. Let's move to these. <laughs> So you said you hosel struck that one. Yep. So that's a that's a pretty high a pretty high strike towards the hosel. Um, that's a shank in golf terminology, basically. <laughs> <laughs> pretty bad. Pretty bad strike. Um, you know, I might might throw it up to me a little bit. Might also throw it up to the to the length of those shafts. Um, sure. Let's feel a little bit different. But um, you know, that's that's pretty common. Um, pretty common with golf, especially you know a beginner might might end up striking the. Uh, yeah, the club there quite okay. more frequently. Um, but this is where it broke, so could that have contributed to the... That definitely could have contributed to the, yeah. uh, to the breaking. Um, this one, though. This one, though, we did see a more of a center strike here, uh, closer to the center of the face. Um, so I think, you know, in, in the future, we might want to see a little bit more hosel reinforcement, um, especially around this portion of the, of the club, and I think we might see a, a better result. So it looks like this type of resin here, this, this more resilient resin, along with a better designed hosel, yep. we might be able to... Yep. Drive a ball down the range reliably more than once. More than once. Well, this was, this was a bunch of fun, and I'm really glad you came along for these results that I did not expect. I'm, I'm really excited to try this again. If this is something you'd like to see more on, more on, that's funny. If this was something you'd like to see more of, uh, let me know in the comments. Tim said he'd be up for it again. I'm definitely down to do it again. Well, Tim, the floor is yours. Let them know how they can find out more about you or what you what you. Like yeah, so um, yeah, so we did our filming today actually at Putts Golf, uh, Putts Golf in Seattle. So uh, several locations. We got a location down in Tacoma. Uh, we got a location in Tequila. And we have a location also out in Bellevue. You know, we've been here for 75 years, and we're looking to be here for another 75 more. We'll put a link down in the description too. Perfect. Cool. Well, you know what? Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're awesome. We'll see you in after the five. Uh, hug each other more. And as always, high five. High five. Mm -hmm. There it is. Boom. Safety. <laughs> awesome. Bam! In and out. Really quick, where they just get shots. Oh. Yep, yep. Yeah. I just want to see the ones, the one where he... Right there. Yeah, where he shanked it. And then the other one, in a second. Such a beginner. Oh, my god. Noob. Goodness. Massive noob. Hey, uh, but as a thanks, uh, pick one of the putters and you can have it. Oh, nice. <laughs>